years, it's the end of time And the Mississippi River, she's a gold grind The interest is up and the stock market's down And you're only getting mugged if you go downtown What's up, y'all? Been a while since I made a video. My hair looks like crap, so I got my beanie on. Uh, this is gonna be a review, an update review on Copenhagen Wintergreen. My new thoughts on it. Um, uh, haven't dipped it in probably two or three months now because it literally just made me want to throw up every time I dipped it. It was just too gross. It got so nasty, so disgusting. The smell of it just. Basically, the overtake of the, the wintergreen just really got old, and I've been dipping LC for a while, but here in East Texas, where I'm at, Copenhagen Long Cut is fucking $5.25 a can, and this is only $4 and something a can. So, I didn't have the money for LC today, so back to wintergreen it is. So, I know I've already made a wintergreen review, but... I'm going to make a new wintergreen review on my new thoughts of it because who knows there could be the people in the same boat as I and it just got really old they had to start dipping something more original that didn't have such a fucked up taste. So here is the new review. Um, oh as y'all can tell dip tower is finally completed. Um, I'm about to start double stacking it where basically what I mean by that is two, 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 two. Instead of just one layer it's two layers. So, see, El Rednecto's already on his double layer. He's got two cans, two cans, two cans. So, it's time for me to do the two cans, two can stack. Um, I'm actually about to restack that, but I have a dip of this in. I'm about to, for the video, I'm going to throw a killer filler in. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, and put another dip in. Um, I'm sorry that I haven't been making videos. Um, internet issues, like, still have the internet issues. I'm going to see if my mom will let me log on to the Wi-Fi or not and upload a video. If not, I'll do it on my 4G. What the hell? Y'all need to be watching videos. Um, so, Copenhagen Wintergreen. Thoughts on Copenhagen Wintergreen. First, I'm going to shut the fuck up and throw a killer filler in. Yeah, this this watch my girlfriend got me for Christmas. Uh, I don't know if I showed all that. Um, it has uh, some technical difficulties. So, uh, it's starting to wear out right there. Like, uh, sometimes when I flick my wrist or pack my can or something like that, it pops, pops off, and, and it goes big again like that. And it gets annoying, but hey, it's a Christmas present from Michelle, and I love it. So, I'm wearing it. Um, plus, I kind of like these watches. I don't like the... I'm getting off topic. What the fuck am I doing getting off topic? This is not a vlog. This is a review. Might make a vlog. I don't know. So, back to packing it. I'll throw a killer filler in for y'all. And then I'm going to talk about the can. And I'm just basically do a whole new review. But mainly, this review right here is about the taste. Um... The, um, my my newer thoughts on the wintergreen because in my last review it was like fuck yeah wintergreen wintergreen's a shit it's a daily dip and this one's gonna be more like a uh, it's it's an every now and again dip killer brother cheers you guys I got a dip a little bit bigger than that in right now but I'm kind of wanting to pack a buzz because I ain't had something with the kick like this in a while I've been dipping long cut has a kick but it loses its kick after about five days of dipping. Okay, so basically, I don't. I was watching some videos last night, resubscribing to the people. Look, now I'm starting to do it. Now that I'm talking about it. They put ginormous ass dips like this in, and they can't talk. They'll be like, "You know, trying to throw that stuff." They'll have like a slur. They can't talk with a big dip in. Drives me crazy. I still subscribe to y'all because dipping videos are dipping video. I know how it feels to be wanting to get out there and get subscriptions and. And comments and stuff like that. So I comment and give my opinion and I subscribe because that's what I would want someone to do to me. I'm not judging anybody. If you if you want to make a video, you want to make a video. Some of them are so bad that I don't even subscribe because they don't even need a fucking account because their videos. One, some of them are like fucking 12, year, 12 years old and they're obsessed with Live the Thrill and obsessed with Outlaw and they think they got to be just like it. So. I'm going to do a, a new uh, thoughts on... I know I'm getting off topic again, but I'm going to make a new video on uh, thoughts on underage dipping now. But basically, wintergreen can, as far as the can goes, beautiful can. I really I really do like the green. I have quite a few wintergreen cans in there, a bunch of straight and long cut cans. 
But, uh, I've been without a dip for three days, so I'm obsessed with having a dip right now. Y'all have no idea how, if y'all, if y'all are real dippers like me, y'all know the fucking struggle of not having a dip. Oh my god, you're like a crackhead, or a meth head, or a meth addict, or something, needing their meth, or something. It's bad. But, um, uh, expiration date on this. Sell by May 29th, 2016. And, and uh, basically, it's just a regular plastic can. Uh, <clears throat> so, my thoughts on it. Can, beautiful, green, gold. I like that. It's also my school colors around here. This is the color to the school, but, you know, I like it. It's pretty nice. Um, it's a wintergreen can. Most all wintergreen cans, you, I guess... I don't really know why wintergreen would be green. I guess the trees and shit. That's what I've always uh, wondered is why. But if you notice the, the color for wintergreen, you don't see a grizzly wintergreen crayon painted purple or something like that. They're, they're all green. So usually when you go into a store, no matter what you're dipping, it can be kayak, it can be nasty shit. It's always going to be green. So if you see a green can, you more than likely, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, you more than likely, it's green most all the time. So basically green can... Uh, satisfaction since 1822, uh, wintergreen, Copenhagen long cut, warning label, this product can, uh, is not safe, alternative to cigarettes, I hate cigarettes, so it's a safe alternative for me. But anyways, um, let's get to the, the actual t reason I'm making this video. I was sitting in the car on the way here and decided to make this. Uh, I know I already have a review on it, but like I said, it got to where it just... The smell of it. I mean, my, Elroy Necto could just crack the wintergreen can beside me, and I would want to throw up. Finally, I got him to dip in long cut, too. But, it just knocked me out the smell. I couldn't stand it anymore. I don't know what it was. I dipped it every day for like six months. Fucking loved it. I loved the kick. The buzz was, it was always, uh, sometimes you would have to put a little bit bigger dip in, maybe a horseshoe or upper decker sometimes to get a instant kick, because... You know, it's like cigarettes. After a while, you're just doing it because it is. Like, if I don't have a dip in my lip, I go nuts. Uh, it's not exactly... It gets to the point where it's not about the fucking buzz anymore. It's about having something in your lip. Just like a cigarette. Something having in your fingers. But, uh, basically, wintergreen. I've now made it where, say, I'm dipping long cut for four or five months. And, uh, I, I want a buzz. I'll go get a Copenhagen wintergreen can. Kicks me in the ass every time. Especially after not having it for a while. Well, I say that, but I really don't have a buzz from this one. Uh, well, I gotta take a shit. Motherfucker, I got to take a shit. I'm about to start trying to make Vine videos. I want to uh, see how that works out. But, uh, other than that, it, it's just my new review on it. It's not an everyday kind of dip anymore. I can't dip it every day or I get sick. Um, call me a pussy, call me whatever. It's just, uh, something about dipping it for, like, six straight months really just threw me off. And it made, it just made me sick. Um... I think what really set the, the the sickness off was I decided not to ever dip it again. And then El Redneck, though, his vi the video is on his phone. He never gives me his videos or anything, so it's probably never going to be uploaded. But I did. He told me that if I did a horseshoe, which is the whole bottom, which is basically a half a can, about a half a can in your bottom lip, he would buy me a long cut can. So I was like, okay, that sounds good, but I'll, th I'll do an upper decker, too. I'll, I'll do a whole wintergreen can for two cans. So he, he gave me the two cans, but... After I did that, that whole can of wintergreen, it was just all in my mouth and juice running everywhere. Totes to everybody that does full wintergreen or full anything. Um, it's just really not all that good. Uh, it's After that, it really made me so sick that I couldn't even smell it. Smell Like, I couldn't even be around it. And of course, El Renekto, he'll open it and stick it in my fucking nose and stuff. Because he thinks that shit is funny. I'll get his ass back one day. Somehow. I don't know how, but I will. Um... It's not that funny. It's really gross. Uh, please, uh, comment. I know I don't, I don't have very many people commenting anymore. UT South Paul 2013 comments every now and again. Um, but I, in full review, I don't know what's up with that dude. Uh, he quit commenting. Uh, I guess I got on his nerves or something. But y'all, y'all shoot me a comment and, and let me know what the fuck's up with that. Because I want to know if other people have that same problem where they dip wintergreen for so long and it makes them sick to their stomach. Um... Obviously, I'm not a pussy because I have it in right now. See, dipping it isn't a problem, especially if I really, really need a dip. It's just, it makes me sick. I can only do it every now and again. Like, this is my first wintergreen dip in several months. And I also kind of sort of found myself craving the wintergreen. 
and uh, Craving Mint. Uh, apparently, um, I don't know what's up with that, but I'll talk about that in my vlogski. Why do I say vlogski? I don't know. Uh, there's the comments coming. Oh, you're just doing this to be like fucking outlaw. No, fuck, I'm not. I love outlaw, but I'm not trying to be like him. I've always wanted to make videos. Um, it's just I didn't want to. I didn't. I don't like getting on on YouTube and seeing uh, underage kids making videos. So I didn't want to be one of those underage kids. Now that I'm 18, I can make the videos legally and stuff like that. And uh, that's why. But that's for a vlog that's coming up. So basically, that would give me y'all thoughts on the wintergreen. It's very fucking just like ugh, you know. I'm starting to get a buzz from it. Um, but anyways, hope y'all like the new background. It's nothing. Like, I really, really kick myself in the ass every day for taking down my background that I that I originated from because it was so badass. I mean, I had everything set up. The dip tower was perfect, and I moved everything. And now we're stuck with this. It's not that bad, but it's damn sure nothing like what I used to have. So, like, share, comment, and or subscribe. And Till t till next time, y'all know what to do. Cook, 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 keep it fucking redneck. So I screw up on that a lot, but I can't change it because I really like it. Cook, 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 keep it fucking redneck. It's actually only supposed to have three cuz, but what the fuck ever. I'm so stupid. Cook, cook, cook keep it fucking redneck. Uh, I love y'all. I don't know what I would do without making videos. Um, I feel really stupid when I don't make them. So like, share, comment, and subscribe. Please leave your comments, share, do whatever. Highly doubt I'm going to get shares and stuff, but hey, one day maybe I will. Anyways, later you guys.